Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video with a group of girls that I'm super excited to introduce you to. And the tag is most likely makeup tag. This is a super fun idea. Christina Brooke reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked if I would be interested in joining this group. And when she sent over the list, I was like, oh, this seems really fun. And as I went through my products to try to like find the answers to these questions, it was a heck of a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but we made it through it. I have a lot of fun stuff to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into the ladies that is a part of the group. So number one is obviously Christina Brooke. I have collaborated with her before in the past. She is super fun. She has such great talent. A couple months ago, she started a series called Make Up Your Mind. And what she does is she'll take a new palette that's being launched on the market and she will go through her entire collection and try to find shades that match the, the swatches that she sees online for the new palette. Super fun videos. If you're on the fence like I am about new eyeshadow palettes, Make Up Your Mind is a great series that she created to kind of help you go through your own collection and Christina is just so kind so sweet and I absolutely love her in the group we also have Charlotte Hallcroft which we all know I love Miss Charlotte she is our friend from the UK and I love Miss Charlotte so much I could hear her talk in her English accent all day long I love 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 Charlotte and she is always so thorough in her reviews. She goes over and beyond when it comes to reviewing products and I love Charlotte. If you guys have not heard of Charlotte, you definitely head over to her channel. Then we have Alex and I'm not sure how to pronounce her name so I'm not even going to try because I will totally botch it. But she is a new creator to me that I am so excited to be collaborating with her on this video. She has a ton of great videos. Like her passion seems to be eyeshadow. I've been kind of binge watching her videos and she knows a lot about eyeshadow, a lot about formulas and it seems to be a really great passion of hers. As of recently, kind of getting to know her and getting to know her channel, she's just got a really, really good platform. So definitely head over and check her out. The next person is Millie from Bad to the Brow. And she has an Instagram page that is fabulous with amazing brows, you guys. She has great brows, but she also does amazing eyeshadow looks to go with those beautiful brows. I've also been kind of binge watching her videos, kind of getting to know her and she's very soft-spoken, very gentle, and I'm so loud and in your face. She might calm you down after watching some of my loud videos, but she's very sweet, very kind, and gorgeous brows, gorgeous eyeshadow look. Definitely check out her videos. Then we have Katie Marie. She is a busy mom of three. It's incredible to always see moms with little ones and being able to do YouTube full-time and part-time and be a mom. It's a lot of work, you guys. So I always commend all of you mothers out there who have little ones and you are on YouTube. It's a lot of work. Um, Katie has a great channel. She's kind of sucked me in with her personality. She seems so kind and so wholesome. And I'm I'm excited to get to know her even more after this collaboration. So all of the ladies definitely check out their videos and I'm excited to hear their answers for these questions. These questions were really, really good. And if you guys are new to my channel from their channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Tara Lynn. I am 41 years old. I have two almost adult teenagers, 19 and 17. It's kind of crazy that my kids are that old, but you know, whatever. Anyway, I just love all things makeup, all things beauty, and I kind of like luxury makeup. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of do. I'm a little sucked in, it is what it is. So a lot of the products that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video are high-end products. So let's go ahead and jump into the makeup tag. So the first question is most likely to look amazing after a long day. And I had several of those on the list, like several. I could literally go through my collection and say that will last all day. That will last all day. That, But I narrowed it down to one and I chose the hourglass powder only because you guys know I'm dry normal skin and it's really hard to find a powder out on the market that doesn't dry my skin out but makes my makeup look and last all day long and be beautiful so i had to choose the hourglass powder it's my favorite 
Yes, it's a little bit more pricier than some of the other powders out on the market, but for this being such a dry skin friendly formula, I had to include it in the video. It's a fabulous powder and I highly recommend this powder. Uh, love it so much. It's fantastic. So the next question is most likely to land me the job. Here's the thing, when you go into an interview, you're doing a lot of talking and you're trying to present yourself in a way where it is appealing to others, right? You wanna be appealing to others. I thought about this for a while and I thought, if I went into a job interview, I would want really soft makeup, but I would want a really beautiful glossy lip. I would want them, because they're gonna be hearing me talk, they're probably gonna be watching my mouth, you know, and kind of eye contact. So I wanna do a soft eyeshadow look, but I would want a beautiful gloss. I chose my all-time favorite gloss from KKW Beauty. It just has a special place in my heart. This one's in the shade Juicy, and I heard, I haven't looked yet, but I heard that she discontinued this. Oh, which if she did, it's really unfortunate because it's the perfect like peachy toned gloss. And I don't know, there's one from Hourglass that I really like too. I think this is in the shade Child. Yeah, so the Hourglass gloss is kind of similar, but it's still not as peachy as this one from KKW Beauty. This is the KKW Beauty. See how peachy it is? This is the shade Child from Hourglass. So it has a little bit like a pinky, peachy shade. So you guys know I love peach and I love everything peach. So the shade Juicy just had to be in this video. It just had to, I could not help myself. So the next question is most likely to wear to ring in the new year. I have to say this one, I could have picked so many different products, probably like a Pat McGrath palette. If I had to pick a palette, it would probably be Pat McGrath, only because we all know that her palettes are just bomb. So I had to pick the Pat McGrath number no. five palette just because this is like total New Year's Eve worthy. It's such a beautiful palette. I love this rose gold right here. This is one of my favorite rose gold shades. It just looks so gorgeous on the eye and I would probably do something with like these shades, you know, these matte shades, pop this on the inner corner, pop this on the lid, maybe maybe come out of my shell a little bit, maybe add a little bit of the holographic, I don't know. But I think the Pat McGrath number no. five, anything from Pat McGrath I think is New Year's Eve worthy. It's a very dependable eyeshadow. You know it's gonna last you, you know, well into the night. And yeah, had to be Pat McGrath, for sure 100%. The next question is, most likely to get decluttered this year? I don't know that I'll declutter it. I'm still on the fence about it, but I have to say it's the Metropolis palette. I think this is like, I just do not like this palette. This palette is not me. There's a lot of the cream to powder matte formulas in here. And as you guys know, for those of you that watch me all the time, you know that her cream to powder formula is not my favorite, like this shade right here. Those shades are very hard for me to blend out. It's one of those shadows that is almost too creamy to really get it to blend very good. I don't know, I just, I'm not a huge fan of the cream to powder formula, but I know there's so many out there that absolutely love it. It's just all based on our own preferences and our own techniques, but this is just not my favorite palette. I have tried this palette so many times. I have really, really used this palette a lot and I just don't love it. It's not my favorite. It's on the chopping block to be uh, decluttered this year, so. There's that. For those of you out there that love that palette, I apologize in advance. <laughs> the next question is most likely to get me the guy. Okay, so I had to go with a Charlotte Tilbury. You guys know that Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite brands and I had to pick one of her palettes only because all of her eyeshadows just are very romantic and they give a very romantic look. So I had to go with the instant um, Pillow Talk palette. I like the Pillow Talk quad, but it's my least favorite from Charlotte Tilbury only because it just doesn't really show up on my skin tone that well. But the Instant Pillow Talk palette, on the other hand, it has a lot of mattes and they're just very soft and you can do like a, like a day to night, date night look with these palettes. And it's just soft and romantic. And I think that's what I love most about this palette. 
And my husband is not really into those really strong, bold eyeshadow looks. He likes more of the softer makeup. He's just not into it. You know, it is what it is. I wear it anyway. It doesn't stop me from wearing it. He doesn't love it like he loves a softer makeup look. And so to do a soft makeup look, I always pull for something from Charlotte Tilbury. This palette is definitely gonna get me my guy. I mean, even though I've had my guy for 20 years now, but you know what I mean. The next question is, most likely to be my new favorite for the year. Tell about a couple of days ago, I probably would have said the Hourglass Ambient Strobe, what's this called? The Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. I have fallen hard for this palette, but Miss Charlotte Tilbury launched these bronzers that I am so completely obsessed with. I have a feeling this is gonna be my new favorite product of 2020. I love the formula, I love the pigmentation. I love how it's a bronzer and a powder combined. It's such a beautiful bronzer, you guys. I can't help myself. This is my new favorite product. And it's definitely, it's gonna take a lot to beat this. It's gonna take a lot, I just have to say that. It's gonna have to take something to really wow me in order to beat this for 2020 because this is such good bronzer, oh my gosh. Okay. Next question, most likely to get me into trouble? Well, ooh, I probably have to say the Tom Ford quads. <laughs> I only have two, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna probably start buying more of these, which I really don't need them. So that's why I say they're gonna get me into trouble because I don't need them, but I want them. You know what I mean? So they're gonna get me into trouble because I don't need an $88 four pan quad palette, but I want them. You know what I mean? My first palette, uh, okay, so this is the Body Heat Tom Ford. Love this palette, oh my gosh. So pretty, so easy to apply. This is a type of cream to matte formula that I like. It still has a little bit of that powder to kind of blend it in, but it's creamy at the same time. Such a beautiful, beautiful palette. Then I recently picked this up for like 40 bucks on his website. This is, I don't even know how to pronounce it. This is the Soleil et La Noon. La Noon? I have no idea. This is what the palette looks like. It's beautiful. I love this palette. In fact, a couple weeks ago, I used this palette for the first time and I put this on my inner corner. I put this in my crease. I put this out on my outer corner and then I used this as an eyeliner. It was stunning. Such a beautiful palette. And, you know, I recommend watching Tom Ford's website. They do some really good sales on there. We'll just have to see, but I might be building a collection. I don't know. That's why it's probably the most likely to get me into trouble. Next question. Most likely to be in my regrets video. I was conflicted with this because I know that a lot of people probably won't agree with me on this and that's 100% totally fine. I think, we, you know, we're all entitled to our own opinion. So I have to say the cream bronzers from Fenty and the reason why I chose these is because you guys know that I love, love Fenty Beauty's bronzers, loved it. It was my favorite bronzer, well, until now, until the Shadow Tilbury, but since I first bought the Fenty Beauty bronzers, I fell so hard in love. And then when I heard that they were bringing out a cream formula, I was just completely overexcited, just could not wait. But I was so disappointed in the pigmentation and they just don't last very long. Like when I put it on, they just blend away and I just don't like how I have to keep packing it on. And the problem with a cream bronzer that you have to be careful with is that if you keep continuing to pack it on and pack it on, nine times out of 10, the more you pack, the more you, you run a risk of losing the pigment, the more likely you're gonna get it to look muddy and gross. And because I'm older, I like to go in light-handed on bronzer. I don't like to go in really heavy-handed. And these just were not my favorite. It's not my favorite formula, and it's definitely kind of a regret. But for those of you that love it, don't shoot the messenger. It's just my opinion. The next question is, most likely for me to hit pan on? Well, I mean, duh, I've already hit pan on it. Like, this is like my third compact. 
This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm obsessed with this powder. I like to apply this powder right here in the center of my face. Like, see a little bit of that gloss? Oh, I just like to go in and just add a little bit and get rid of that shine right there. It's fabulous. One of the best powders. So finely milled. You guys know I love this powder. It is my ride or die powder. And I hit pan on it all the time. So... There you okay. go. So the next question is, most likely to get me compliments? Well, this one was very easy because I get compliments on my highlighter every single time I wear this palette. You guys, this palette is bomb. Bomb. And normally, for me being older, I have to be careful wearing something this strong. Uh-uh. This just melts into the skin. Like, you can't see it sitting on the skin, but it highlights in such a beautiful way. What I also love about this formula, it's very buildable. So I can go in a little bit heavier handed and have it really shine, or I can go in really light and just kind of, you know, give the lift to the skin. Such a gorgeous palette. I am obsessed with this highlighter palette. And every single time I wear it, somebody says something like, oh my gosh, I love your highlight. Or how did you get your cheekbone to shine like that? So there you go. Okay, the next question is most likely to repurchase. Okay, so all of the products that I have talked about in this video, I could possibly say I would repurchase them all, right? I mean, I could. But I'm probably gonna have to go with the Hourglass Concealer only because this has just become a, such a game changer when it comes to me and my concealer and what I love. And every time I apply this concealer, I fall more and more in love with it. And you know, whenever I'm testing out new concealers and every time I go back to this concealer, I just love the way that it looks and I love how long it lasts. It looks beautiful all day long and I never have to worry about it looking weird, looking thick and crazy, and oh, it just makes my under eyes look so much softer and so much prettier, and I'm obsessed with it. I have it in two shades, one for like my spot concealing for my skin, and then one for my under eye. I only wear it maybe a shade or two lighter than my actual foundation, but I wear the shade Beach on my under eye, and I wear the shade Dune as just kind of like a little bit of an extra if I need a little bit of coverage on the rest of my face one of the best concealers on the market, but hands down. But I've noticed with this concealer, people either love it or hate it. It's like there's no really in between. And for me personally, I'm completely obsessed. I'm head over heels in love with this concealer. The next question is most likely to splurge on. Okay, you guys are probably gonna reach to the camera and smack the crap out of me when I answer this question. But this has been something I've been thinking about for a while now, and it is the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. The reason why I want to splurge on this, even though I already have a bottle of it, is because it's $120, but this shade is just a little bit too light for me. And I bought it on, I think I bought this on Beautylish, and I kept trying to wear it and trying to love it but I couldn't figure out why everybody else loved it but me. Like I didn't know why I was the only one because most people love this foundation. Most people that like what I like, right? Most people that love like the Tom Ford, you know, Traceless Stick Foundation, which is my favorite foundation, and the even the Pat McGrath, which is one of my new favorites. But people seem to love this La Mer foundation, but I've just not fallen in love with it like everybody else. So I kind of keep thinking, well, maybe it's because I don't have the right shade because I do think this shade is a little bit too light. This one is in the shade Suede 33, and I have a feeling I'm a shade darker than this. So in my, you know, lizard brain, I was thinking that maybe I should splurge and buy a bottle in the shade that I think I am and go from there. So this is definitely probably most likely I'm going to be splurging on in the next couple of weeks. So be on the look for that. <sighs> I got to breathe through that one. So the final question is most likely to look terrible after a long day. That was very easy for me. I know. Crazy, right? It has to be this Degum Charlotte Tilbury Concealer. I just do not like this concealer, you guys. It makes me look 100 years old by the end of the day. It doesn't really look that pretty when I apply it, uh, but four or five hours in, I get older and older and older and older, and it just does not look good on my under eyes, and 
you guys know Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite brand, but this concealer, man, she needs to bring out something better. I mean, she's released more foundations. Can we get something maybe a little bit better than this concealer? Plus, the packaging sucks. Let's just be honest. If you don't use this on a daily basis, you can't get the lid off. I have to run it underneath water to get it off. It's ridiculous. Because it's like a twist on, I can't, I can't get it off. I cannot, I can't get it off can't it the concealer like glues it to the lid and you can't get it off I have to run it underneath water and it's a pain in the ass and I don't like it I don't like this concealer not my favorite and it makes me look old so there you go so this was a super fun makeup tag and thank you again Christina for inviting me into this group and thank you to all the ladies that are a part of this group collaboration this was such a fun group and I appreciate each and every one of you I encourage you guys to head over to their channels I will leave them linked in the description box down below for you guys to head over to their channels check out and hear what their answers are and thank you all so much for hanging out with me in today's video I hope you you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.